Good morning everyone. So today this is week three in Tag Rugby and today we are going to be looking at passing. Okay, so the first two weeks we've been looking at movement, we've been doing movement type games, okay, where there's not really needed ball. Today, again, if you have a rugby ball, great. If you don't, you can just use a ball or a sock, okay, or just some soft object that you can throw. Now, again today we've got our safe space, so we've got our four cones, okay. If you don't have cones at home, that's fine. You can just use four different types of colours, whether it's t-shirts, socks, okay, just to mark out an area. And then here, I've just got a bin. But at home, if you've got like a laundry basket or something that you can use, just wait down with like a couple of books or something so it doesn't move or, or fall over when you throw the ball in there. That's fine. So, tag would be today, we're looking at passing. And there's loads of different types of ways we can pass the ball. But today, we're just going to focus on a pop pass. Now, in tag rugby, okay, it's really important that we know how to pass. And in rugby, we're only allowed to pass one direction. Now, can anyone tell me what that, what, what that direction might be? So just take a minute and just think, okay, what direction do you see players pass the ball? Do they pass it forward? Do they pass it diagonally forward? Do they pass it to the side? Okay, so, in tag rugby, we are only allowed to pass the ball and in rugby, behind us, okay? Now, today we're gonna focus, like I said, on the pop pass. So first things first, okay, our little warm up activity, just to get us used to the ball, okay? A pop pass is really simple. Now, we need to know, first of all, how to hold the ball. So we've got our rugby ball here, okay? And if we face upwards, we hold one hand here, okay? So it's like that. All right, so one hand like that, and the other hand opposite, okay? And it's almost like we're making our thumbs touch at the top, okay? So we're holding the ball like this, okay? And a pop pass is literally going across us. It's like a swing, okay? Just like that, okay? So if you just get used to that movement, okay, of how to move the ball, that is a movement we make when we do a pop pass. Now, just to get started, all we're gonna do Okay, just to get going, we're just going to throw the ball up in the air and catch it, but using the same technique, okay? So we're just going to throw the ball up and catch it, okay? Practice throwing it up and catching it. And every time you catch it and you throw it back up, back to the same technique, okay? Of how to hold the ball. Up in the air and catching it. Up in the air and catching it. And see how many times you can do that without dropping it, okay? If you've got a better space at home, okay, and you're outside and you're in the garden, see if you can throw it higher. The higher you throw it, okay, the bigger the distance you can make the pass, okay, in a real life game. Now, once you've done that, I then want you to focus and move on to the second form of how we're going to do a pop pass. Now, instead of just throwing it up in the air and catching it, okay, we can go from cone to cone. So I'm going to throw the ball up, okay, with the same technique, holding the ball, okay, and I'm just going to go to the side, okay, up to the side, up the side, up, to the side, up, to the side. Now, if that's too difficult, okay, just do small little throws, okay? Up, to the side, up, to the side. If that's too easy, then just throw it higher. Up, to the side, okay? Keep on playing that, see how many times you can do it, okay? Maybe, okay, you might start at the back, all right? Up forward, up and back. So you can move in different directions, left, right, up and back, okay? See how many times you can do it? If it's too easy, throw it higher, okay? Then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go on to our next activity. So like I said, in tag rugby, we can only throw the ball backwards. So as you can see, this is gonna be our goal. This is gonna be our target. And I don't have anyone else to practice with today, so I'm just going to practice throwing to a target. Now, I'm going to go to each different cone. So we've got the yellow cone here, and I'm just going to practice seeing if I can throw it into my target backwards, okay? So remember how to hold the ball and a different type of pass, okay? And it comes out, all right? So I go to another one. Now remember, I'm at the blue cone now, so I can either face it that way or I can go this way, okay? because it's behind me. All right, so try it again. 
and it goes in. All right. If I go into the red cone, okay. Remember, the, co the, the target is now behind me, so I'm not going to go like this, okay. And when I'm throwing the ball in tag rugby, I'm not just going to throw it behind me, okay. It needs to be the correct type of pass, okay. So just practice. You go into different types of cones, and remember, whatever cone you go to. The target is always behind you, okay? So if the target's there, I'm never facing it like that, trying to go forward, I'm always passing behind, which is more comfortable, okay? Just like that, all right? Then what we can do is for our game-based activity, if we've got someone else with us at home, we could time how many times in 60 seconds, okay, we can hit the target. So for example, if we've got someone at home, mum, dad, brother, sister, they will start the timer of 60 seconds. So if they've got a timer, or a stopwatch, or a phone, that they can just start the time, and they do 60 seconds, they'll do a 60 second timer. And then what they need to do, in that 60 seconds, you're gonna start at a colour. So we've got yellow, blue, green, and red. Now, when they start the timer, they then have to shout out different colours. So I'm at yellow now, so if they shout blue, okay, I go to blue as quickly as I can, pass it backwards. They might shout yellow, okay, I go to yellow as quickly as I can, pass it backwards. They might shout green, I go to green as quickly as I can, pass it backwards. Red, backwards, blue, backwards, green, backwards, and you get the idea. So your partner, okay, is going to shout out different colours and you're going to see how many times you can hit the target and get a point in 60 seconds, okay? If it's 10, if it's eight, if it's 12, see if your partner can beat you, okay? If you haven't got a partner, then just time 60 seconds, okay? Keep a track of it, so put like a little timer on it so it bleeps after 60 seconds. See what your score is, and then see if you can beat your score again. Okay, so the learning objective for today, okay, will be on your description. But we are learning how to make Pass, okay, so remember the technique of a pop pass, okay, is to swivel the body from side to side, and we're always passing backwards in tag rugby, okay. Now it's really important that when we play tag rugby, I've seen a lot of kids when I've gone to tournaments, okay, and when I've took teams myself to tag rugby, their sole focus is to run with the ball, okay, and they're so obsessed with it sometimes, okay, they forget to they forget to pass the ball. So it's a really important technique okay, to have. And it's also a transferable skill. So by transferable, okay, if you're pretty good at rugby, there's a good chance you might be able to play flag football, which is like American football. If you can pass the ball in rugby, you can probably pass the ball in basketball or in netball. Okay? So it's a basic skill that is transferable between different sports. So today, the learning objective okay, was learning how to make a pass, focusing on the swinging type of movements, okay, and the key point is we always pass behind us, okay, so that is our learning objective for today, I hope you have a great lesson, like I say with these lessons, it might seem like it's super quick via video, okay, so 10 minutes, 8 minutes, whatever it is, but it's up to you at home to prolong it, to challenge yourself and extend it as much as possible. So try beating your challenges. Do these daily if you can, okay? All right? This little challenge I've just done there, or as time on myself for 60 seconds, you can do that with someone, best of three, best of five, or challenge yourself over seven days and see what's the best score that you can get, okay? Let us know how you get on. Apart from that, I hope you have a great day. Keep in touch with your challenges and your quizzes, all right? And I hope you're having a wonderful lockdown, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, Mr. T.